There's a million books and videos out there on story structure, yet you are still confused on how to build a plot with clear momentum. Today that will change. I am going to show you a clear, simple way to get the skeleton of your external plot working. If you can do this, then your story will have a much clearer structural flow. This is not a full understanding of how to build an entire story, but this will give you the starting point to build a plot that is at the very least focused and has a consistent momentum. And if you're interested in working with me one on one to fix the problems in your screenplay, then click the link below. I've talked at length about Dan Harmon's story circle on this channel and its value as a basic structural building block. This is Harmon's version of the story circle. I've talked about it before. But this is confusing. What does go mean? What's the difference between find and take? And what is a return? These terms can be difficult to define clearly to build an effective plot. So let's simplify this so that you can apply it to your screenplay. Here is a clearer way to think about story circle structure. Let's go through this together. First, you have a character with a want slash goal. This is something external. The want cannot be to feel happy or to not be depressed. It needs to be in the external world. Attain an object, go to a place, destroy something, build something, etc. Make it external. It needs to be clear to the audience whether or not your character has gotten what they wanted. Then we have the three, the initial problem. This will be the first major issue your character must solve. Something isn't going their way. This is a problem they cannot ignore, which sends us to the four, the initial action. Your character takes action to solve the problem that arises at the three. How does your character solve the problem so that they can get what they want? Five, get. This one trips people up. Your character should attain their want in some way. Either they fully get what they want, or they make clear progress towards getting it. The two and the five are linked. When trying to identify what should happen at your five, return to your two and ask yourself how you can show the audience that the character has made progress towards the want. Now the six is a hugely important piece of this process. This is usually the piece that will put your audience on the edge of their seats. A major pivotal problem happens that your character did not expect. This is going to radically hurt the progress they have made so far. Your character may also be forced to sacrifice something at this point. There was something they didn't prepare for and it wrecks their plan. Just like the three, this is a serious problem and it should be a larger problem than the three. Seven, pivotal action. Now your character must face this larger problem. They must take extreme action to handle the problem created at the six and survive. This beat is the climax. It is the climax of a full story, and it can also be the climax of an act. Notice that the six and seven mirrors the three and four. This is important because this is how you create progressive complications. Your character will face more challenging obstacles as they make progress. This is what creates continued conflict and keeps your audience engaged as the story continues. Eight, change. Through the events of one through seven, your character and story world should be changed in some way. How has it changed? You need to make it clear to the audience that there is no turning back and your character has radically changed themselves and their situation. Now let's take this view of the story circle and apply it to a story with a very strong external plot. We will apply this structure to the three acts of the Avengers. Let's begin. Act one, our character is Nick Fury. Fury wants to protect the earth and we meet him as he is running shield and experimenting with the Tesseract. The initial problem of the story happens very quickly. Loki opens a portal, takes the Tesseract, and escapes with Eric Selvig and Hawkeye. Now we move to Fury's initial action based upon this new problem that Loki presents. Fury gathers Black Widow, Dr. Banner, Captain America, and Iron Man to take down Loki. Once he does that, we get to the five. The initial Avengers team is assembled and brought to the helicarrier. 
But there is a new problem. Loki resurfaces. He is in Germany going after Iridium. So we move to the pivotal action. The initial team is sent out by Fury to capture Loki, and they are successful. Now the change. The initial Avengers team has been assembled, and Fury has now captured Loki. In Act 2, our character is Nick Fury. Now that Loki has been captured, Fury wants to find the Tesseract. He tasks Tony Stark and Dr. Banner to find it. Quick note, Thor also enters here, yet while his entrance creates a fun fight scene, he does not actually create a new problem or solution here. He simply enters, and after the quick fight, carries on with Iron Man and Captain America to the helicarrier. After we establish that Fury is looking for the Tesseract, we go to the three, the initial problem. Tony Stark hacks the helicarrier's computer system and places doubt about S.H.I.E.L.D.'s motives in Dr. Banner and Captain America. Also, Captain America finds Hydra weapons on board the S.H.I.E.L.D. ship, creating further chaos and division inside the team. To solve this, we go to the four. Fury lets the team in on S.H.I.E.L.D.'s plan. They plan to build weapons of mass destruction as a deterrent against alien invaders. This calms the team, at least for a moment. And we get to the five. Dr. Banner and Stark locate the Tesseract. But just as they locate the Tesseract, we go to our pivotal problem. Hawkeye attacks. Hulk is unleashed, and the helicarrier engine is blown. To solve this problem, we go to the seven. Fury's loyal heroes work together to fight Hulk, Hawkeye, and Loki, and get the engine back online. They are successful, but in the battle, Agent Coulson is killed by Loki. And now the change. The team is now scattered. Thor and Hulk are gone, Loki has escaped, and Coulson is dead. As a side note, Coulson's death and the team being scattered is the six of the larger story. Can you figure out the rest of the larger beats? Now Act 3. Our character is Nick Fury. He wants to bring the Avengers together to take down Loki. Fury uses Coulson's death to give the Avengers something to fight for. But we go to the three. With the help of Eric Selvig, Loki opens the portal on the top of Stark Tower. He unleashes the alien army on New York. So we go to the four. The Avengers fight the alien army. And the five. They finally come together as the full Avengers team and they are beating the alien army back. But we go to the pivotal problem. A nuclear bomb is sent to New York to contain the alien threat. Iron Man takes pivotal action in the end and takes the nuke and sends it through the portal, destroying the alien mothership. And finally, the change. Fury's Avengers team has saved the world. Now this does not fill in every tiny little detail, and it's not supposed to. It's supposed to give you a clear basis to build your acts so that you can fill in the story with your character relationships and scenes. Let's look at the circle again. Remember, the two and the five are linked, want and goal. The three and four mirror the six and seven. Both show a problem that arises for your character, and your character taking action to solve that problem. You can use this flow quickly to build a clear external plot. Practice this today. Try writing a story with these clear beats. And if you're interested in working with me one-on-one -on -one to fix the problems in your screenplay, then click the link below. Thanks for watching.